Yaman Munosiko, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a bit of a chit chat about the hair that I have on my head right now, as well as a wig making tutorial. So before we start with the wig making tutorial, I'm just going to give you a bit of information about the hair. So the hair that I have on right now is from Weaves RSZA, and this is a proudly South African company, and they distribute all over the country, and they distribute 100% virgin human hair to different places in South Africa. So if you are looking for a proudly South African company, company to support then do check out weaves rsza so the hair that i have on right now is um peruvian hair and i have a 13 by 4 frontal and it's 20 inches and then i have two and a half bundles of 22 inches in my head so i did have three bundles of the hair but i only used two and a half to make this wig as you'll see in the video weaves rsza has been in operation for the past eight months in the country and their main aim is pretty much to be a leading retailer of hair in south africa so because of this reason they do focus a lot on making sure that they provide really good service to their customers as well as providing a good quality product because you can't build a meaningful customer base with bad service and bad product so the different products that they offer I'm just gonna read them off my phone to make sure that I don't miss anything are um, 6a Brazilian and Peruvian hair they also have 9a Brazilian and Peruvian hair and this is in body wave straight as well as deep curl they have 9a kinky Mongo Mongolian hair so if it's the tight curls then it's um, Mongolian hair they also have 10a Remy hair which is pretty much Indian hair like the temple hair <laughs> that's what Remy hair is supposed to be then they also have ear to ear closures or frontals front lace closures 360 degree closures and then they also have a wig making service so if you don't want to purchase bundles as I did or rather receive bundles then you can just get a ready-made wig I wanted to get the bundle specifically because I wanted to make the wig the way I wanted it to sit on my head which is like this so as you guys can see this sits extremely flat on my head and I haven't necessarily found a wig maker that can um, do the same as what I've done so I decided to make it on my own and I also wanted to share the process with you guys which is why I opted for the bundles as opposed to the wigs but if you aren't an avid wig maker or if you're not really interested in making your own wigs then you can definitely just buy a ready-made wig from Weaves RSZA. I love this wig at the moment. My friends I nearly can testify. I love the wig. I need to <laughs> yeah, yeah, you too. Very much. Mm -hmm. I love this wig very much. I feel like such a vibe when I wear this wig. So if you are interested in seeing me make the wig, um, or if you want to make a wig that's similar or a wig that's going to sit on your head similarly, then do keep watching. So do enjoy the wig making process, and I hope you find the video helpful. I love you all, and God ever stay blessing you. Mm -hmm. Some thread to sew your wig. This is nylon thread and it's black. A dark color is preferable because it blends with the wig or the hair much better so it doesn't show through um, your tracks. A comb, especially if you're working with straight hair, so you can part the hair and um, comb the hair while you're working with it. A dome cap that I already have on my mannequin head. I get these from um, a shop called Sweet Heavenly at Southgate and it costs 15 Rand and it fits my head perfectly. A mannequin head, preferably one that also fits your um, head or rather that's a similar size as your head and as you can see the dome cap is already on the mannequin head and it fits the head perfectly so that's why I know that when I make my wigs on this mannequin head it will fit my head perfectly because the dome cap also fits my head very very well. A needle to sew your hair. I have a curved needle as well as a straight needle. Use whatever is preferable to you some pointed pins that you can use to tack your hair to the mannequin head which helps with ease of sewing some clips to keep the hair out of the way while you work the hair bundles you'll be using i have 22 inches of straight hair and as you guys can see this is quite long so these are the bundles that i'll be using alongside my frontal the frontal hair that we'll be using i have a 13 by 4 20 inch frontal and this is also straight hair that I'll be using alongside my bundles and as you can see the hairline already looks pretty natural however if you want to customize the frontal you can pluck it to make it look even more natural to suit your liking mm -hmm. 
As you can see, this is the needle that I'm going to be using. I decided to use the straight thicker needle and I doubled up my thread after looping it through and then we've made a knot at the end of the thread to make sure that we secure the wig when we're sewing down our frontal. The derm cap is now on the wig head and I've aligned um, the derm cap properly to make sure that it pretty much sits on the mannequin head the same way that it would sit on my head. Now we're going to take the frontal and pretty much how you place it is align it with the center of the head and then you're just going to place the frontal a little bit ahead of um, the dome cap or in front of the dome cap um, because pretty much that's how it's going to align properly with your head you can't put it necessarily in line with the dome cap so you want to pass the dome cap by maybe a centimeter or so so this is pretty much where it will sit on the wig head so I've placed one of the pins through the lace of the wig and into the wig head to secure the wig so I can work with um, the rest of the frontal as you can see the frontal is pinned in the front so we're just going to pull the frontal back um, and make sure that it's taut or pulled tight and then at the point where um, the frontal can't be pulled any further that's where I'm going to put the second pin in the center of the wig head. Then the trick to making your frontal is you need to make sure that the back of your frontal or this area of your frontal lays flat against the dome cap. It doesn't matter if the excess fabric bunches up in the front because as long as this is flat then your frontal will lay flat across or rather along your head. So just make sure to pull the frontal taut as you can see this is pulling it tight and making sure that it lays flat and then we're going to apply the pin over here. Once you've secured your frontal with your pins, it should lay flat across or rather along the wig head just like this. So flat from the first ear all the way to the ear on the other side. Where I like to begin sewing is in the middle of the wig and then I sew out to make sure that my frontal is secure from the middle going to the outsides and that will make sure that my wig is more evenly distributed or evenly placed. When you sew, you're going to take your needle, you're going to take it through the edge of the lace then you're going to take it through the dome cap or through the cap as you can see this goes through both the lace and the cap and then you're going to pull it out on the other side then you'll pull your thread all the way through and that's why we made that knot there so that the um, knot will be secured against the cap then you're going to make a second in and out in the same place that you made it but to secure this knot now, what we're going to do is you're going to pull through like you did initially and then you're going to leave a loop in your hands like this one. So this is what you need to have in your hands when you pull through. So you're not going to pull all the way through. You're going to pull through until you have this loop. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle, pull it through the loop and then you're just going to pull through to secure the knot. Then this is what happens. You pull through and then that makes a knot. To continue sewing, you can do one of two things. You can go through the lace, through the cap, and then just pull, which would be a normal sewing loop. Or you can continue with what we were doing where you go through the lace, through the cap, make that loop then pull through and secure and then to finally secure the wig at the end of the cap we just make um, a few of those knots to make sure that our wig is secure
So here we have the frontal completely sewn down from this ear all the way to this ear. So now we can fit the frontal or fit the wig cap and then start sewing down the tracks. To continue making the wig we're going to start adding our track hair. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect this end of the track to this end of the lace. You're going to sew through there and make a knot and then you're going to continue sewing all the way around the wig and we're not going to be cutting our wefts until we get to the top so we're just going to be flipping over the wefts and sewing along the wig cap to make it easier for me to work i'm just going to put in a pin over here to hold the track while i sew for the first knot we're going to go through the actual track of hair like that pull all the way through till you get to your knot like that go through the track again pull all the way through then you're going to take your needle go through your lace and then also go through the fabric taking care not to go through the elastic band that's in here and then you're going to pull the needle into your track again like that so through the lace through the cap through the track and then you pull then again to make your knot through the lace through the fabric through the track pull make that knot then pull all the way through again underneath the track through just the fabric and then you pull then as you can see you've made a knot over the track over there and then we're just going to continue doing that all the way till we get to the other end and then we're going to secure it on the other side of the wig then to secure your um, track, you're going to go through the track, through the fabric, through the lace, come out, take your thread, loop it over the needle, pull through, tighten. To continue sewing, you take the track, fold it over the back of the head, then pin it to secure it. So it stays in place while you sew, then you sew along this line, then you fold over and do the same thing over and over and over again.
and this is what the wig looks like and i think i did a pretty good job of managing to um get this wig done so as you can see also if you comb the hair back the wig has quite a few partings it's got a parting over here parting over there and a parting on the side that are already made for you so it's got three parts one two and three on the side and i want to wear the hair in a middle part but as you can see the hair isn't necessarily very well tamed with the middle part or any of the parts actually for that matter so i'm going to be taming my part and making a perfect middle part before we put on the wig so this is pretty much where the part is but as you guys can see the hair over here is a little bit thicker so I'm just going to tweeze out some of the hair to make sure that the part is as wide as I want it to be. And I actually find it easier sometimes to pluck the hair using my fingers because I can pick um, the specific hairs that I'm looking at and pull those out. So that's what I'm doing now, just using my fingers to pluck the part. <music> So I've opened the part where I want it to be and now we can work on laying this hair flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this olive oil wrap set mousse and I'm just going to be putting that on my hands just like this. Then you're going to rub it together or rub your hands together rather and then just smooth the hair away from the part in the direction that you want it to go. Then I'll just be taking a brush because that's a lot denser and brushing the hair down. We have load shedding at the moment so ideally I should be blowing out this hair or blow drying this hair but and we don't have electricity so I'm just gonna finish my video this way and then um, maybe in a later video I'll show you guys how I blow out my hair. At the moment this is the best that we can do and that's okay. So now we're just going to cut away this lace. I'll just be taking my sharp pair of scissors and cutting along or around the hairline. the wig on my head now and as you guys can see it sits really well on my head I really like how this hair looks in general um, obviously as I mentioned <laughs> this part of my head is like bumpy because I have to flatten that with a blow dryer um, but I can't do that at the moment because we don't have electricity however in general as you can see the wig sits very nicely on my head and as I mentioned the mannequin head that I use for my wig is a very good match size wise for my head which is why having put the wig on it literally sits on my head really perfectly and as you guys can see this hair is quite lengthy so this is 20 a 20 inch closure which is what comes up to here and then a 22 inch um, length for the bundles so I really like how this sits also I didn't use all of the bundles of hair I had three bundles of hair and a closure I only used the closure and two bundles of hair because I wanted to have a very sleek looking um, long wig I didn't want to make it very chunky and heavy so it lays completely flat especially even from the side it lays very very flat and that's the kind of look that I wanted to go for if ever I do feel that the hair is a little bit thin I can go ahead and add my other full bundle that I still have of hair um, that I haven't touched so um, I can make the wig fuller if I want to make it fuller however this is the look that I'm going for with this hair 
yes honey <laughs> so i really like the way that it is like this okay so this is when our wig looks like finished um the electricity finally came back so i managed to take a blow dryer and pretty much just take it to the top of the um closure or the frontal to make sure that it lays absolutely flat so this is what we're looking at and this is what we're working with so i think it looks great it looks really good i did a really good job 